1939 bomber aircraft family by Consolidated Aircraft. The Consolidated B-24 Liberator is an American heavy bomber, designed by Consolidated Aircraft of San Diego, California. The wing gave the Liberator a high cruise speed, long range and the ability to carry a heavy bomb load. Early RAF Liberators were the first aircraft to cross the Atlantic Ocean as a matter of routine. At approximately 18,500 units, including 8,685 manufactured by Ford Motor Company, it holds records as the world's most produced bomber, heavy bomber, multi-engine aircraft, and American military aircraft in history. In January 1939, the USAAC, under specification C-212, formally invited Consolidated to submit a design study for a bomber with longer range, higher speed and greater ceiling than the B-17. An unusual four-panel set of all-metal, tambour panel, roller type, bomb bay doors, which operated very much like the movable enclosure of a rolltop desk, retracted into the fuselage, C. 15 of the 15th AF's 21 bombardment groups flew B-24s. For much of 1944, the B-24 was the predominant bomber of U.S. Strategic Air Forces formerly the 8th Air Force in the combined bomber offensive against Germany, forming nearly half of its heavy bomber strength in the ETO prior to August and most of the Italian-based force. Thousands of B-24s flying from bases in Europe dropped hundreds of thousands of tons of high-explosive and incendiary bombs on German military and industrial targets. In the period between 7 November 1942 and 8 March 1943, the 44th Bomb Group lost 13 of its original 27 B-24s. For some time, newspapers had been requesting permission for a reporter to go on one of the missions. Intercepted just short of the target, the B-24 came under attack from JG-1's Messerschmitt Bf-109s. Lieutenant Heinz Noak shot down the Liberator. In late June 1943, the three B-24 Liberator groups of the 8th Air Force were sent to North Africa on temporary duty with the 9th Air Force. The 44th Bomb Group joined the 93rd and the 389th Bomb Groups. These three units then joined the two 9th Air Force B-24 Liberator groups for low-level attack on the German-held Romanian oil complex at Ploiesti. The B-24 advanced the use of electronic warfare and equipped search bomber, low-altitude and radar countermeasure squadrons in addition to high-altitude bombing. Unlike the C-87, the C-109 was not built on the assembly line, but rather was converted from existing B-24 bomber production. To save weight, the glass nose, armament, turret fairings and bombardment equipment were removed. B-24s were also used by the U.S. Navy and U.S. Marine Corps for ASW, anti-ship patrol, and photographic reconnaissance in the Pacific Theater, and by the U.S. Coast Guard for patrol and SAR. Naval B-24s were redesignated PB-4Y1, meaning the fourth patrol bomber design built by Consolidated Aircraft. The Consolidated Aircraft Company PB-4Y2 Privateer was a World War II U.S. Navy patrol bomber that was derived directly from the B-24 Liberator. A fully navalized design was seen as advantageous, and Consolidated Aircraft developed a purpose-built long-range patrol bomber in 1943, designated PB-4Y2. Liberators were introduced into service in the Royal Australian Air Force in 1944, after the American commander of the Far East Air Forces, General George C. Kenney, suggested that seven heavy bomber squadrons be raised to supplement the efforts of American Liberator. Seventy-three Liberators of various models that had force landed on European airfields were recovered and 30 of them were repaired and used by the 45th BAD. The B-24 bombers of the 308th Bombardment Group joined the battlefield in March 1944 as the heavy bombers of the 14th Air Force to fight against the Japanese during the Second Sino-Japanese War. At Ford's Ypsilanti, Michigan-based Willow Run bomber plant alone, one B-24 was being produced every 59 minutes at its peak, a rate so large that production exceeded the military's ability to use the aircraft. Online by mid-1943, the new plant produced hundreds of B-24 Liberator bombers. At its peak in 1944, the Willow Run plant produced one B-24 per hour and 650 B-24s per month. In mid-1944, the production of the B-24 was consolidated from several different companies to two large factories, the Consolidated Aircraft Company in San Diego and the Ford Motor Company's factory in Willow Run, near Detroit, Michigan, which had been specially designed to produce B-24s. By 1945, Ford made 70% of all B-24s in two nine-hour shifts. Each of the B-24 factories was identified with a production code suffix, Consolidated, San Diego, Colorado, Consolidated, Fort Worth, CF, Ford, Willow Run, FO, North American, NT, and Douglas, 
Tulsa, DT. In 1943, the model of Liberator considered by many the definitive version was introduced. This problem was eased in the summer of 1944, when North American, Douglas and Consolidated Aircraft at Fort Worth stopped making B-24s, leaving only the Consolidated Plant in San Diego and the Ford Plant in Willow Run. The Royal Air Force received about 2,100 B-24s equipping 46 bomber groups and 41 squadrons, the Royal Canadian Air Force 1,200 B-24Js, and the Royal Australian Air Force 287 B-24Js, B-24Ls, and B-24Ms. Liberators were the only heavy bomber flown by the RAAF in the Pacific. The USAAF used the B-24S primarily as training aircraft since this series and other technology as were the aircraft being produced by Consolidated, San Diego. The B-24M became the last production model of the B-24, a number of the B-24s built flew only the course between the factory and the scrap heap. XB-41 because there were no fighters capable of escorting bomber formations on deep strike missions early in World War II, the Army authorized tests for heavily armed bombers to act as gunship escorts for bombing missions, which inspired both the B-17-derived YB-40 Flying Fortress. Liberator BMKIV reserved for the B-24E, but there is no record of the RAF actually receiving any. Robert Altman, film director, was a B-24 co-pilot, flying over 50 bombing missions in Borneo and the Dutch East Indies. William Charles Anderson, author of Bat-21 and Bomber Crew 369, piloted Liberators based in Italy as a member of the 451st Bomb Group of the 15th AF. Chuck Bednarik, NFL Hall of Fame member, former Philadelphia Eagle and the last full-time two-way player, served as a B-24 waste gunner with the 8th Air Force 467th Bomb Group. Hal Clement, science fiction author, was a pilot and co-pilot on B-24s and flew 35 combat missions over Europe with the 68th Bomb Squadron, 44th Bomb Group, based in England with 8th Air Force. B-24s from the 7th Air Force were the first B-24s to bomb the Japanese home islands.